A reminder, Solve Collectibles are stocking the Euro 2020 stickers from Panini and you can use the discount code GBW10 to get yourself 10% off your order, which is absolutely fantastic. Enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome to a video where we're going to be seeing how many England stickers we can get in 30 packs from Panini Euro 2020 Tournament Edition sticker collection. So if you're intrigued to see how many England stickers I can get in the 30 packs of Euro stickers I've got right here on the table ready to open, make sure to smash the like button. It's really simple to do. Literally you have to click a button, you got two more seconds in fact that's three seconds two one bang you need the like button yet brilliant let's open some sticker packs and find some england stickers so here we go there are the 30 packs and i've got the album here as well and we're going to show you england so i mean i have completed a fair amount of this album um, but this video is all about the free lines there's scotland we'll do that in a future video perhaps if you're scottish watching this and you want to see me uh, try and hunt for as many scottish players as possible in a, in 30 packs do let me know down in the comment section so um but in this video as i said we're hunting for england stickers so there are the england stickers in this collection and there's obviously the lineup ones on the next page as you can see here um, all completed looking absolutely fantastic and uh, hopefully we can get a decent amount it's quite it's, it'll be an interesting test to see how many English stickers you would expect you'd think it'd be more equal between each team but um yeah it'll be interesting to see and uh, yeah hopefully we can get as many England stickers as possible in 30 packets we could make this like a little home nations um battle so we could do hunting with Scottish players hunting for Welsh players in the same amount of packs so yeah here are the packs 90p a pack as we know 30 packs here so let's get stuck inside the first one and see if we can get many many England stickers so we start with Ionov and Kuzaev for Russia Hungary's badge there Keith and Morse that's a home nation but it's Wales uh, Chiro Mobley there and Augustinsson there we go not too bad at all there but not what we're looking for in today's video we want England we want the mighty free lions uh, how far are England going to get in this Euro 2020 tournament I reckon they'll get pretty far. I really do. And by the way, that's two packs in a row there. We've got an Italian and a Welshman in the pack. That's pretty interesting indeed. But yeah, I do think we'll get pretty far. I think we'll get to at least the quarterfinals. I'd expect so. Although I think if we get past the group, which we should do, we've got a pretty tough run in after that. So uh, you never know. You never know of England, do you? Depends on how Southgate's feeling and who he's going to pick in his team. That's a good pack, by the way, there. Uh, Gundogan, Griezmann, Darun and Rudiger. That is a really, really good pack. Blimey, that's a strong old pack. That imagine if this was a draft video. That would be a that'd be a head scratcher. That one. Oh, looks like we've got our first Scottish sticker of the opening. It's the Ryan Jack and John McGinn. Uh, McGinn Esther, as he's known in the industry. Um, there we go. We've got Portugal celebrating a goal. And we've got another Welshman there, Danny Ward this time. That's a big need for the collection, actually. Get him there. I've just realised I need him to complete Wales. I'm going to stick him in in a minute. You watch. But there we go. Danny Ward. That's beautiful. Chalutska and Jose Gaia. So let's just do that now. Let's stick him in. Let's stick Jose, not Jose Gaia, Danny Ward in. That is absolutely beautiful. Where's Wales? Wales are Group A, of course. Uh, England and Scotland, two of the home nations, two of the three home nations in this tournament meeting uh, meeting in Group D. So, uh, yeah. So, sticker number 100, Danny Ward. Lovely, lovely stuff. Wales is imminently completed. There we go. Fantastic. Wales done. Look at that. Any Welsh people watching, you're welcome. We've completed Wales in this video while hunting for England stickers. The irony. Um, but, yeah, there we go. That is that. Okay, next pack. Oh, we still haven't pulled an England sticker yet. We've pulled a Scottish sticker. We've pulled a Welsh sticker. Still no England ones yet. Uh, we've got Skriniar there, Kulosevsky, Stephen Unzonzi, uh, Helander, and Jakia there for Russia. Still no Englishman. That is in this is interesting to know, actually. And there we go. We've got uh, uh, Pau Torres and Sergio Ramos. We've got the Portugal badge. There we go. There's our first Englishman, and it's Ben Chilwell there for England, of course. And Chelsea, former Leicester player as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what, if we could build potentially a five-a-side team with the English stickers we pulled. But, I mean, we've opened about six packs. We've pulled one so far. So, um, yeah, not great, but we move. And then we've got Duda and another Scottish player in there, Stuart Armstrong this time. Uh, obviously playing for Southampton in club football as well, as we know. Uh, there we go. In this next one, we've got Timu Puki there for Finland. Then we've got Koke. We've got Demaral, we've got Porsche and Mario Rui there for Portugal. Still not, you know, I'd expect one or two more England stickers by now, but 
you never know it maybe it will even itself out towards the end there's the uh, polish badge there's sour for switzerland and they've got hanko we've got Schuler and piacek there is he the one playing at uh Herfer berlin i'm pretty sure he is old piacek i get mixed up between him and milik i think they're both polish so you can understand my confusion there um, we've got Olsen and Augustinsson there for Sweden. We've then got Slovakia's badge, Livakovic and Kaletikar. There's another Englishman and it's Nick Pope. Lovely, lovely stuff. So that's a goalkeeper for the five-a-side team there. I'll take that. Very, very nice. Lovely. And then we've got Semenov. Okay, so two English stickers. We've opened about ten packs, I'd say, by now. Okay, that's that's about average. That's about average, I'd say. We, we, um, we had loads of Welsh players at the start, to be fair and um, no English player, so maybe it's balancing itself out. Um, you'd expect that for Panini sticker collection to get an equal amount of stickers per team. Uh, there's two Belgian players in that pack there, Pratt and Denea. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can get two English players in one pack, or three English players per pack. That would be, uh, be something special, wouldn't it? Um, there is the half of the trophy. Then we've got Pavard. We've got Gunok and Celik there for uh, Turkey. I, I nearly said Tunisia there, don't know why. Uh, Leroy Sane and Yazici. So again, two Turkish players in that pack. And is that... Wait, hold on. Oh no, we got the trophy in that pack as well. I completely forgot. I thought we just got a four-sticker pack. For 90p, that would be disgusting. Uh, but in this one, we've got Craig Gordon, another Scotsman there. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to get in instead of David Marshall unless injury hits uh, Mr. Marshall. And then we've got Shaka. Then we've got Croatia there, we've then got Kadrobek and Lorenzo Insigne for Italy. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully we can get some more English players. What do you reckon? How many more English players will we hit from this point in? Pause the video now, comment down below how many more English players are we going to pull from the remaining packs. So, now we've got Ukraine, then we've got Czech Republic, then we've got Locatelli, Kimmich and Cenk Tosun. Obviously he played in the Premier League with Everton and Crystal Palace I think. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a good pack as well, Joshua Kimmich. That would have been a tough one for a draft. Well, actually, no, it would be pretty easy to go Josh Kimmich, surely, wouldn't we? So, in this one, we've got the Sweden team there. We've got uh, the sign for an equal game sticker. There's another English player. It's Connor Cody. Okay, not bad. Still interesting how he's actually got a sticker in this set, but um, there we go. Um, so, that's three English stickers from the packs we've opened so far. And two of them being defenders, and another being a goalkeeper. And then we've got Zubkov there, and Harry Wilson for Wales. So, two home nations in one pack there. Um, being Harry Wilson of Wales, and obviously Connor Cody for the free lines. And then we've got Vestergaard there, Kasper Schmacher, so two Danish players there. We've then got Khan Ayan, uh, two Turkish players in there as well. So, two Turkey, two Denmark. Uh, that uh, other, other Turkish player there was Sangari. And Emil Forsberg for Sweden. That was interesting. Two Turkey, two Denmark, and then a Swedish player at the back just for good measure. Because why not? So, into this pack we go. We've got Klik and Krachowiak there for Poland. We've got Darida and Kadorbek, Pervan and Alaba, uh, jo uh, Joranen, and John McGinniester. There he is uh, for Scotland, of course. There we go. Imagine that as a draft pack. You've got three of those lineup stickers. You literally have to pick between McGinniester and Joranen. Um, thank goodness me, we got McGinney Esther in that pack, hey? Eh? Uh, I can't stop saying that name now for some reason. Uh, we've got Willie Orban and Szezla in this one. We've got Danny Olmo there for Spain. Uh, Szymanski. We've then got Trincao there for Portugal. And James Forrest for Scotland. There we go. I'm hoping these packs here, as well, as we've already seen earlier in the video, puts me closer to completion. I think after that Danny Ward pull, I need four more stickers, which is kind of mad. Hopefully we can get even closer come the end of this open. There's the, I think I need that. I need the Wales badge for my second album, uh, the softback one. There's Baradia and Kuka for Slovakia. Uh, so yeah, I am seeing needs for both collections here, not just the hardback. Mainly from the soft cover album, because I need a lot more for that one compared to the hardback, as we just mentioned. But uh, there we go. Then we've got Munio in this one. We've got Hazard, two Belgian players there, and Steven Bergweis. Uh, I think that's how you say it. He plays for the Netherlands there. I think he plays for Feyenoord um, in club football. Could be wrong though. Do correct me if I'm wrong. He might have used to play for Feyenoord and moved on recently. Who knows? Uh, we've got Yaramchuk and Yarbalenko. We've got Sommer and Akanji. We've got Vaklik and Borrell. Diogo Jota and Luka Modric. That's a nice little pack as well there. Three lineups and then two half-decent players at the back there. There we go. So, in this one, we have Russia celebrating a goal there. Very nice. Carl Walker, it's another English player, but it's another defender 
Three English defenders on the back to open, that's kind of ridiculous, but um, there we go. I suppose, well, it'd be a very defensive five-a-side team if we were going to play five-a-side of it. We only allowed one more player, <laughs> but there we go. And then we've got uh, Ristevsky and Dennis Zakaria. That's a big need for the soft cover album, lovely stuff. And there we go. Nick Pope, Ben Chilwell, Kyle Walker and Connor Cody so far. Can we get a forward in there, maybe a Harry Kane, a Rashford, someone like that? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And there's Christensen and uh, Gazinski there for Russia. Into the next one we go, and we start off with Hungary's Adam Sazlai. We've then got Pepe and Guerrero. That's a big need for the soft cover, that. We've got Lyndon Dykes and Ryan Fraser. That's a big need for the soft cover as well. Big up Lyndon Dykes, starting to hit form for QPR. Then we've got Karavayev and Brian Jack. So two Scottish stickers from that one. And uh, yeah, there we go. Into this next one we go. We start off with Florenzi there for Italy. We then got Poland, uh, Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky, however you want to say that. Scott McTominay and Recker. So we've definitely got more Scottish players than we have England. And we've definitely got more Welsh than we have England, I think. So that's interesting to know, isn't it? Well, maybe if we do do a little Home Nations battle, um, it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top when it comes to dedicating a video for them. So let us know if you want to see that. Uh, smash the like button on this video and of course um, comment down below which teams you want me to hunt for. Um, so yeah, we've got Switzerland there, then we've got Dejan Lovren. And of course we can hunt for individual players like maybe Ronaldo, and Mbappe, players like that, which could be quite fun. That is an incredible name, I'm not even going to bother. We'll just call him Bogdan, there we go. And uh, Viktor uh, Sargankov, wow. What an, surely that's the longest name in the tournament, surely. That is Bogdan, my guy. That name is going to be a struggle for the commentators out there. <laughs> I do not envy them. Uh, we've got um, Mostovoy there for Russia. Then we've got Bayer and Kiefer Morris. Another Welsh sticker there. Emil Forsberg and Sebastian Larson. Then we've got Schick and Sisto. Pione Sisto there for Denmark. And in this one we start off with Emerson there for Italy. We've then got Luke de Jong and Memphis Depay. We've got Chris Meffin and Connor Roberts. We've got Sobol there for Ukraine. And Kenny McLean, another Scottish sticker. I'm telling you, Scotland have absolutely thrashed uh, England in terms of this opening here. If, we were gonna, if this was to be England versus Scotland, Scotland would be absolutely demolishing the three lines, which, uh, yeah, would that happen in real life? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on Gareth Southgate's lineup. It really, really does. Uh, we've got uh, Larson there for Denmark. We've got Krachowiak. We've then got Bozhenik, we've got yeah, Nisanken and Donald Rummer. And there we go, fantastic goalkeeper. He's been 21 for about four years, bless him. So, I think we've got, this is the penultimate pack. This is the second to last pack and we've pulled four England stickers. Wow, I'd expect more to be fair. Hopefully we can get one in the last two. Uh, there's a good sticker there, Griezmann and Mbappe. Then we've got uh, Kuzayev, Galik and Rodak. That's a big need for the collection as well. Beautiful stuff. In fact, let's stick in Marek Rodak. Obviously the Fulham goalkeeper, as we know. So, uh, let's go to Slovakia. I've forgotten what group they're in. I believe they're in Group E with Spain, Sweden and, yeah, themselves. And Poland. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, Marek Rodak is a need for the collection. As you can see, just up the top there in the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, so, yeah, I can't move it too far. We'll knock, we'll knock all the stickers over, which we don't want to do. So... Yeah, let's stick in Marek Rodak. I think we might have packed Hanko in this video as well, to be fair. Which is the other Slovakia sticker I need. But look at that. So Hanko's the only Slovakian sticker I need. And I think we might have packed him in this opening, to be fair. And then other than that, we need Wojciech Szczesny there for Poland. I've forgotten the other ones. I think there's a couple of lineup stickers at the back of the album Group F. Let's just double check. Yeah, oh no, it's just one. It's the hungry one of Willy Orban and Szczesny. Did I pack that as well? Ooh, we might have completed the album in this video. Well, the next video, by the way, will probably be about an album update. So stay tuned for that. Uh, well, the next Euro sticker video, that is. So, um, yeah, this video has been pretty good for my collection, hasn't it? So here we go. Into this next one, or the last one, shall I say. And um, we have uh, Makarenko. We've got Gundogan and Kai Havertz. Karabayev, Varane. That's a big need for the soft cover. And Svensson. So, okay. From 30 packs of Euro 2020 Tournament Edition stickers, we found four, just four, England stickers. Okay, I'd expect a lot more. I'd expect a lot. We didn't even get any of the lineup ones. We didn't get the badge. All we got was those four on the table on your screen right now, being Nick Pope, Ben Chilwell, Carl Walker and Connor Cody. I'm slightly disappointed, but 
for all I know, maybe I picked up a bad batch of packs and the next 30 had, I don't know, six or seven like Scotland. I mean, Scotland had at least 10 stickers in that pack open, surely. Um, and Wales definitely had more than four. So in terms of the home nations, England definitely lost this one. Do let us know if you want to see another little hunting for video where we potentially hunt for Scottish stickers, Welsh stickers, Portuguese stickers, whatever you want to see, comment down below and uh, I'll probably do the most uh, thumbs up comment, which is pretty epic. So give me some challenges in the comment section and uh, yeah, that'd be pretty fun to do. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you do want to see some more Euro 2020 sticker pack openings on the channel, make sure you absolutely smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, the notification bell next subscribe button. That way you get notified to your mobile tablet and computer device when I upload a brand new video to the channel, which is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching us in the next one. Ciao, ciao.